ends up collabing with one of the biggest celebrities to surprise people on the monkey app with. Yeah, hi. That's so for everyone we're... that said that he was, it was a fake person, that looks pretty real to me. Can you do this? Oh, you I need that as a clip, you guys. All right, I have to go get ready, honey. Just okay, I appreciate me. you. Thank you. Bro, guess who just came, you guys? Oh my God, we just did a monkey stream with Drake. Some of these Omi TV and monkey app streamers go too far. Let's go. Right. I'm trying to see who got the prettiest teaser on here. You want to be a contestant? I'm giving away 250. Oh, that's great. Look at this. Let's see. Her Instagram is XO Snow. Was, was that really Drake or was that an AI? Let's see. Ronald right here. Ra rate her stream right, right. right. This is my homegirl. She is very funny and she's very crazy. So rate her stream. All right. God bless her. Thanks so much. Love y'all. Shout out. This is my homegirl from Toronto right here. Okay, so Drake knows her. Ra rate her stream right, right. right. This is my homegirl. She is very funny and she's very crazy. So rate her stream. All right. God Chat. bless her. Thanks. Okay. I see Drake in the comments. He says, love you, Snowball. Okay. Hey, how many of y'all think academic feel some type of way that this girl getting so much love and he over here fighting new teeth and nails and Drake just going over here, giving her a shout out, popping up on her stream? Have we have we seen Drake and academic stream together? Oh, hey, I bet you I bet you look. Academics is fighting off them tears deep down inside. This is this is academics crying deep down inside. What was it? <laughs> this is how Drake actually, 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 actually feels right here. Because I know somewhere, somewhere deep, deep down. down, and she ends up collabing with one of the biggest celebrities to surprise people on the monkey app with. <laughs> She would do that. But then does this. That's my first pair of tips on Monkey. And she ends up collabing with one of the biggest celebrities to surprise people on the Monkey app with. Yeah, hi. Yeah, so for sorry. everyone that said that he was, it was a fake person, that looks pretty real to me. Can you do this? Oh, I need that as a clip, you guys. Wait. So is this Drake on? This is AI, though. Hey? It's like when a video is, yeah, oh and she ends up collabing with one of the biggest celebrities to surprise people on the monkey app with. Yeah, hi. So for everyone that said that he was, it was a fake person, that looks pretty real to me. Can you do this? Oh, you it. Thank you. Oh, like gummy, yeah. I need that as a clip, you guys. All right, I have to go get ready, honey. Just okay, I appreciate you. Thank you. Bro, guess who just came, you guys? Oh my God, we just did a monkey stream with Drake. Some of these Omi TV and monkey app streamers go too far. Let's go. All right. I'm trying to see who got the prettiest teaser on here. You want to be a contestant? I'm giving away 250. Yo, that's great. Look at this. Let's see. Her Instagram is XO Snow. Was, was that really Drake or was that an AI? Let's see. Ronald right here. Ra rate her stream right, right. right. This is my homegirl. She is very funny and she's very crazy. So rate her stream. All right. God Chad. bless her. Thanks so much. Love y'all. Shout out. This is my homegirl from Toronto right here. Okay, so Drake knows her. Ra rate her stream right, right. right. This is my homegirl. She is very funny and she's very crazy. So rate her stream. All right. God Chad. bless her. Thanks. Okay. I see Drake in the comments. He says, love you, Snowball. Okay. Hey, how many of y'all think academic feel some type of way that this girl getting so much love and he over here fighting new teeth and nails and Drake just going over here, giving her a shout out, popping up on her stream. Have we, have we seen Drake and academic stream together? Oh, damn. Hey, I bet you, I bet you look. Academics is fighting off them tears deep down inside. This is, this is academics crying deep down inside. What was it? This is how Drake actually, 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 actually feels right here. Because I know somewhere, somewhere deep down, down in my heart, I, I still love, love you. you. Damn, man. Come on, Drake. Why are you doing this to your mans like this, bruh? Oh. Giving her a shout out. Ah! Drake over here get to doing a video with her. Ah! This is how he really feeling deep down the inside. Look at him, man. But you, you can tell he feels some type of way. And, and you know what? You have every right to, man. 
the way that you take so many bullets for Drake, you deserve better. All right. Look at him right now. He's seeing his competition. That's your competition right there. Bitch. How come I couldn't be a girl? How come I couldn't be 17? If I was 17 and I was a girl, I would have Drake Hart. Yeah, bro, you you a little bit too old and you the wrong gender. Okay, if you were around the 17, 18 mark and you was a social media phenomenon, you was a girl, hey, Drake be on your, you know what I mean? He's showing you love and everything. But, you know, you're a little bit too old for him. All right? But look at academics looking at his competition. All right? That bitch. <laughs> I got it. So wait, let, let, again, I, I don't, I'm not caping or I'm not capping for nobody, but it's like it appears that this girl does some weird stuff on stream, right? Right. Things that could be unethical, inappropriate, um, or whatever. We don't know if these women are on age, or we don't know. Like you know, it seems like at least at the very least, she might be you know pulling a quick one on him. Like hey, you know, they're both women. I guess we should be doing with the woman. Like hey, listen, we're both gonna flash our tits, and and the, the girl goes first and she hits the next button, right? So he's like, got you, which is kind of like super scumbagish, right? And especially if you're lying to them, it's like, right, yo, you're not on stream. It, that could go into a bunch of other problems where like yo, you're 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 allowing someone to yeah. expose himself exactly. um through coercion of, of of just lying to them well, because they think that they're only showing you but they're showing thousands of people right so I academics you that was well said like i i couldn't say it any better you broke it down who this person is you you, <laughs> you broke it down perfectly You broke it down perfectly. So that being said, that very elegant description of this individual, I mean, you hit, it was right on, spot on. So the question act you should be asking yourself is the same question we asking ourselves. Why is Drake collabing with her? Things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, that make you go hmm. things that make you go things that make you go hmm. so that's all we say right things that make you go hmm hmm oh, i wonder how academics is going to moonwalk his boot thing out of this so i guess that's the, the jig on this girl right right but but she knows Drake, and yeah. I guess Drake does a pop up on her stream. Mm -hmm. Now here's my question: Does Drake stay on her stream and she does any of this appropriate stuff, or does Drake know that she does this inappropriate stuff? Like, is Drake watching a snow stream? I know yes. that's his home girl, but yes. is he watching her stream? Yes. Because I, I don't know if it's fair to just blame Drake for appearing on someone's stream. You can blame Drake for appearing on someone's stream because how is Drake going to be on that person's stream? There's steps for Drake to be there. He don't just mysteriously shows up out of there's a process so you you can't blame him because he put himself in that situation so the question that you should be asking yourself is the same question that we are asking ourselves why is drake there that's all we're saying why is drake there especially the heat that he's taken why why even put yourself in that predicament <laughs> If he never knew what the fuck she's doing, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a silent like com complicitness that he would be agreeing with her doing that to other women. Like, is, is that what we're trying to say? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. Okay. Watch the Fantano video. You know I don't want to watch this fucking yes bum ass pe because he knows exactly what she does because he said snow. Why do you get so freaky? Well, why do you get so freaky on your streams? Yeah. So he is full aware what kind of content that person produces why do you get so freaky snow why do you get so freaky yeah he's full aware piece of shit but i watch it just for context because i want to be fair i want to be fair and people are like oh i can just hear you like you're running a thing on you're running a thing and you're here to defend drake no like right like it, i kind of feel like i get what's, what's happening this girl's being weird on kick she's doing it to get subs or get views uh she knows drake drake hosted her back in the day when he went live and remember that's the time when he was just like uh um you, you want a problem with me family we was talking to uh, metro that's that's a while ago right so i guess when he was getting off that stream he hosted her he said that's my home girl from toronto i'm not thinking he's saying that's my home my weirdo home girl from toronto i'm just thinking he's like yo that girl from toronto i know her i'm throwing a host to her I'm, I'm not thinking that's weird however she does weird stuff on stream right then maybe one of those streams i don't know if drake was watching drake pops in and drake says what's up 
but the, the video from the original Catch Predator guy looked like he doesn't say like Drake is cycling through other parts. I don't know if they could do that together with her and Drake is is complicit with the weirdness. But I, I'll listen to Fantano's video. Let's hear it. All right, hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but one more time, again, despite me being tired of this topic, we have to talk about Drake because he has once again been caught being weird in the public eye through some older footage and a, a bit of a breadcrumb trail that has recently come to light. Which for Drake at this moment is unfortunate because uh, you would think that given everything he was accused of in his recent beef with Kendrick Lamar, that he would want everything vis-a-vis uh, -vis him to optically look very clean and very appropriate right now, uh, especially given that uh, recent hard drive drop, just literally staring at computer screens in the studio and, uh, you know, sitting around on music video sets. That's all I do. I mean, that's not what I actually rap about doing in my songs, but, uh, you know, that's like pr pretty much, pretty much it. But yes, once again, the discourse is discoursing around Drake because we are seeing him with his hand in the cookie jar. Let's talk a second about endorsement deals. This is not the prime issue with this video, but this is kind of where it starts. Of course, Drake being as popular and as in demand and as influential as he is, uh, he is going to be approached for, and when they're lucrative enough and beneficial enough to him, he's going to- Is this about a state deal? Be it for clothing, maybe something music related, or even online gambling? Because yeah, for quite a while now, Drake has had uh, this ongoing business relationship uh, with the online gambling platform known as Stake, which in recent years- mm, Like- image is done like it's over yes like he's not trying to just be like oh my god everybody like he, he's kind of like on an edgy era shit he's he used to be like just like pandering to ma every woman in the world telling strippers i love uh, such content live because you're literally seeing the high stakes situation play out in real time as an audience member there's obviously a, a certain level of investment and all right bro we know about online gambling gang like you come on bro fully so been a lot of debate and a deliberation as to where this type of content should exist brother drake is a rapper if he does a gambling deal he's not a fucking goody two-shoe influencer he talks about getting niggas killed okay <laughs> like <laughs> body bags and chains for louis bags like we, we, like stop looking to drake to be the moral police like, oh my god he's gambling he gambles all the time he's a degenerate he just lost six hundred thousand because he bet on adesanya and he got his ass whipped he got choked the fuck out so drake has always been a loser when it comes to gambling, but he's always put it out there. Oh! Oh! I got a title for a video. Academics exposes Drake and calls him a loser. Let's play that back. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, I'm going to title that video. Yes, sir. Uh, such content live because you're literally seeing the high stakes situation play out in real time. As an audience member, there's obviously a, a certain level of investment. And right, bro, we know about online gambling game. Clip like, it. Come on, bro. Fully clip it. A lot of debate and a deliberation as to where this type of clip it, clip it. I need everybody to clip it and just play it back. Yes, I know Drake is a loser. Clip it, clip it. All right, clip it up. L listen. All right. So everybody, everybody get the timestamp. OK, this is the video. This is the live stream. This is the uh, timestamp. All right. Clip it out and, and use it as you must. OK. All right. See the video. Boom. All right. Clip it. Have fun with it. Content should exist. Brother, Drake is a rapper. If he does a gambling deal, he's not a fucking goody two shoe influencer. He talks about getting niggas killed. OK. <laughs> like <laughs> body bags and chains for Louis bags. Like, we, we, like, stop looking to Drake to be the moral police. Like, oh, my God, he's gambling. He gambles all the time. He's a degenerate. He just lost six hundred thousand because he bet on Adesanya and he got his ass whipped. He got choked the fuck out. So Drake has always been a loser when it comes to gambling, but he's always put it out there. I gamble. So oh, he's a de he's a degenerate. Oh! <laughs> DJ Academics exposes Drake and calls him a degenerate and a loser. Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> clip it, clip, clip. Sorry, it's a rap shit. In rap, we ain't going like, oh my God, Drake. Like, I, I think also what we have to, hey, listen, the news flash here, and I don't know how, how Drake particularly feels about it, but I know how I feel about it in terms of him. Drake's goody two-shoe Disney Channel, um, like, image is done like it's over yes like he's not trying to just be like oh my god everybody like he, he's kind of like on an edgy era shit he's he used to be like just like pandering to ma every woman in the world telling strippers i love you come off the pole please come home with me you're better than this nowadays he say fuck these bitches you you, you hear him yo uh um uh, uh bitch lying about her shots like she's meg the stallion like come on bro like yo yo she yo he's he's he's, he's a little bit a little bit more spicy now um i Whoa, what? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Pause. What? Pause. Pause, bro. Yeah, that, that don't sound too right. I don't. I don't want a man saying, "Hey, bro, you. Hey, bro, you a little spicy." I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. 
I, I think the cat's just out the bag. He, he just couldn't keep that clean. Like, you know what I mean? And now, could he still make those songs that would work for that audience that cares about that? Like, the right foot up, left foot slide. Yeah, because he's still going to have a double meaning in the song where he's like, the, the whole Tussie Slide song is the shit that kids like doing. The nigga's talking about killing people. Like, come on. Like, l- l- let's go back to Hotline Blink. Like, if you ever think that Drake could still make innocent songs like that, I just think they're going to have double and triple meaning. But, yeah, he's, he's kind of edgy now. So if you think, like, Drake is above doing a gambling deal, fuck no. Damn. Like, yo, this, he's a rapper. Like, nobody would, like, do you think Playboy Cardi's above scamming Aiden? No, he's a rapper. Damn. Oh, yo, yeah, I'm making a video out of this. Damn, a- academics exposes the fuck out of Drake. Damn. Hold on, I'm about to play all that again. Yeah, I, I need to play that back from the from the tippity top clip. This, God damn, academics. Why you going on in your man like that? Hold on, I got to play this one more time. Damn. Loser when it comes to gambling, but he's always put it out. Ooh. across the internet when it comes to online betting. Uh, they actually currently tout themselves on Twitter as the world's leading betting platform. And not only has this form of gambling in and of itself uh, become lucrative and popular on its own, but making content around it as well has too. And in a variety of different styles, uh, most notably during live streams. I mean, personally, as a content creator and consumer, I actually see uh, the benefit of doing uh, such content live because you're literally seeing the high stakes situation play out in real time. As an audience member, there's obviously a, a certain level of investment and- All right, bro, we know about online gambling gang. Like, come on, bro. Fully so, been a lot of debate and deliberation as to where this type of content should exist. Brother, Drake is a rapper. If he does a gambling deal, he's not a fucking goody two-shoe influencer. He talks about getting niggas killed, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> body bags and chains for Louis bags. Like, we, we, like, stop looking to Drake to be the moral police. Like, oh my God, he's gambling. He gambles all the time. He's a degenerate. He just lost 600,000 because he bet on Adesanya and he got his ass whipped. He got choked the fuck out. So Drake has always been a loser when it comes to gambling, but he's always put it out there. I gamble. So I'm sorry. It's a rap shit. In rap, we ain't going like oh my god Drake like I think also what we have to hey listen news flash here and I don't know how Drake particularly feels about it but I know how I feel about it in terms of him Drake's goody two-shoe Disney channel um like image is done like it's over yes like god damn damn <laughs> all right are we back God damn it. They said enough is enough. Stop exposing. Damn. Y- y'all, y'all out here clapping my shit. Uh, listen, this is one of those situations I think, you know, especially post battle, I think Drake tried to join his homie stream on some random innocuous shit and the chick has been view farming and trying to do things to be edgy. That is creepy. Do you get what I'm When I heard him say this, I said, oh, you know what? I'm going to make a drop for Eck. Listen to how he's here to rescue Drake. Watch how he tries to rescue Drake. And you know what? I made a clip specifically for this. And y'all tell me if y'all enjoyed it. But this right here is Eck Man. This is Eck Man. Eck Man doing what he do best. He is here to save his boo thing. I made this for you, academics. All right. All right, academics. I I, I made this for you. This is you here to rescue Drake. Act man. Oh, yeah. So this is Ackman right here. Watch how Ackman is here to save the day. All right. This is full blown Ackman. Watch how he is here to rescue his Drizzy Drake. man this is for you watch watch how he's gonna protect his drake i said oh shit pay attention (laughs) hit that like button y'all hit that like button i'm saying so i'm agreeing it's creepy 
Drake being on the stream, I don't think that really gives any credence to say, oh, I guess he was only on the from Tallahassee. Hi, D. Can you see the person that I'm doing with or no? Do you see two people or no? Yes. Do you know what that's like Drake? No, that's my Drake. It looks like him. He's not, though. I don't know what it is, but it looks like Why, do you guys like Drake or something? Not necessarily. I feel like you and I can solidify this friendship and flash each other. Good night. Man. Somebody tells me there's a community note about this fuckery. Let me go read it. Come on, act. Save him. Save him, act. Come on, academics. Drake needs your help, bro. Help me, please. Help me, please. Come on. Save him. Come on, act. Save him. Somebody said, act Twitter community note of this, but, but what page? What page? I, I want to read the community note. Save him, act. Come on. Save him. Do what you do best. Do what you do huh? best. Huh? Huh? The post got taken down. Huh? I can't see. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Listen, Say this him. is one of those situations, I think, you know, especially post-battle. Okay. I think Drake tried to join his homie stream on some random innocuous shit. Oh, random. And... Okay. The chick has been view farming and uh -huh. trying to do things to be edgy. Uh -huh. That is creepy. Do you okay. get what I'm saying? So I'm agreeing it's creepy. Okay. Yeah. Drake being on the stream, I don't think that really gives any credence to say, oh, yeah, that's my homie. And I agree with the creepiness. But I think what it do, this does uh, signal, and right. I think this is where everybody's waiting for Drake to like, uh, like it's the aha moment. It's like, right. yeah, I do think Drake should be careful. Like, you, you know, uh, unfortunately, some of the edgy things he would do. Edgy. Right. This is like one of the edgy things. Yo, yo, I swear oh. one time Drake was. Hey, oh, so so this is edgy. This is this is Drake not knowing randomly. So Drake is randomly shouting this person out. Right here, Ra raid her stream right, right. right this is my homegirl. She is very funny and she's very crazy. So raid her stream. Right. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's random. That seems like he sits there and watches her stream. He is full of where, what kind of content that girl is, and this is her. I'm forever grateful for you, Champagne Poppy. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Champagne Poppy is full of where. Of who this person is and what she does. All right, God chat. bless her. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Shout out. This is my homegirl from Toronto right here. Ra raid her stream right, right. All right. This okay. is my homegirl. She is very funny and she's very crazy. So raid her stream. All right. Yeah. God chat. bless her. Thanks. God bless her. God bless her. So so yeah. Um, academics. Now, what were you saying again? This is after Ninja. A few weeks afterwards, he was playing. There was this, there's a pro player, or there was a pro player on Fortnite from Canada. The dude used to stream, and he used to pull like yo, 200 yo, yo, viewers. Yo, Drake just hopped on the stream and played with him. Never tweeted out, no nothing. And if you never knew, it, it just happened. But for him, I think that's Drake, like edgy, keeping his like boots on the ground, kind of know what's going on, tapping oh. in with people. Oh. Unfortunately, there's so many narratives that they're trying to run against you that oh. even if you're not complicit or you weren't around when none of the weird shit's happening, they're gonna be like, oh, you you, you went on her stream and she's a creep. <laughs> Uh, uh, keep on going keep on going I, I, i'm sorry like i'm not gonna say drake is guilty of anything i would just say some of the edgy shit he might just have to chill out with though right oh, like oh, hey if if, uh -huh. if you're gonna pop on the, the stream of the woman who's been doing this a lot yeah and even if you know or have an inkling that she's doing it don't do it right oh, oh, okay. so it's just some of the edgy shit that i think he's trying to do but yeah so if you know that she gets freaky like why do you get so freaky? So academics, that's what we're trying to figure out too. If he knows that this person gets freaky, why even put yourself in that situation? We heard the man said, Snow, why, why do you get so freaky? Like some of your streams get wild, <laughs> freaky and wild. Why are you so wild and freaky? Exactly. So why is he entertaining her? But is this any proof that Drake is a fucking creep or Drake is a predator? Fuck no. Is it like, like, are we? Am, am I tripping? Like, I'm down. Yes. Yes, you are tripping. I'm going to get on Discord and y'all could talk about this if y'all want. 
Somebody said, bro, 37 trying to be edgy? Yeah, yeah that's kind of what the biggest rappers do. They, they try to find cool ways. It's the reason why she, she he goes to do a, I was just like, interview laying on a bed with, with Bobby Altoff instead of doing a hip-hop interview. He wants to seem... Like, that's, know, bro, it's, it's the majority of these other rappers you're talking about, they just don't do interviews. Drake wants to do an interview, but he's not going to do an interview in a regular way. That looks corny. That looks beneath everybody who's on his level. So he goes okay, to do a jokey yeah. joke interview with Bobby Altoff, which is like almost a, a satirical and, and, and I think this is... It, it, all right, okay, okay, okay. Do, do y'all want to debate me about this? I'll get on Discord if y'all get on Discord and we can talk about it because I hate when y'all really think that I'm just like ducking or I'm, I'm just like fucking doing mental gymnastics. Hey, I can't. And, and I do understand my, that some of y'all, y'all just want to hear that de facto. My computer oh just my froze. God, this I is weird. I can't now, it'll be it. different. It's, it'll be different if Drake is like, oh my, oh my God, I, yo, the reason I came on the stream, my I really like all this freaky I, shit you'll be doing. Like, let's I can't do it. pause nothing no, right that's now. Not what he, that's not what he did. That's not what he did at all. Is that what he did? My whole damn computer just froze. Like, it, I thought I was going to hear Drake say, nah, nah, let's add some people to this. And I thought Drake was going to be like, yo, 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 have her take the top off. Like, no, that's not happening. I can't so, because he nothing. popped on this chick stream, I can't it's like, yo, it. he's the weirdo. We're I not even getting at the right girl. Now. What the fuck? Can't, what the hell going on? Oh, did the Frank say something? Or Frank said, Frank said, Acker, entire content is this. She don't game or anything else. Why was Drake watching someone make minors do weird stuff? And buying her setup. Clearly, he says he knows her from Toronto. But so, but so you're saying that's all she does? Yes. Okay, let me just look on this monitor. She has a kick page. I'm gonna look on her kick page. This is the fault of Drake. Damn, so I all she does do is get nothing. underage kids to to expose himself. And hold on, hold on. I can't do nothing. Damn, I can't even click on anything. Hold on. What the fuck? What the hell? Like everything just went crazy for a second. The fuck? Everything literally just froze. I can't do nothing. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Huh? Here we go. Here we go. But I'm trying to find my other stuff. The that post I got taken up. down. I'm trying to find the other stuff that yeah. I have. Uh, listen, this is one of those situations I think, you know, especially post battle, I think Drake tried to join his homie stream on some random innocuous shit and All right, here we go, here we go. the chick has been viewed listen, on man, and trying to do things to be edgy. That is creepy. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm agreeing it's creepy. Drake being on the stream, I don't think that really gives any credence to say, oh yeah, that's my homie and I agree with the creepiness. But I think what it do, this does signal, and I think this is where everybody's waiting for Drake to like, like it's the ha-ha moment. It's like, yeah, I do think Drake should be careful. Like, you, you know, unfortunately, some of the edgy things he would do, edgy. right? This is like one of the edgy things. Yo, yo, I swear, one time Drake was, this is after Ninja, a few- Imagine being 40, 37, talking about being edgy. Come, come on, bro. He 37 years old. This ain't a 17 year old boy. This ain't a 20. This nigga 37 trying to give excuse, talking about he's being edgy. Hey, do you understand the words that are coming out of your mouth? He trying to justify Drake as a 37 year old man going on a 23 year old girl's stream being freaky. Oh, he just being edgy. Come on, man. A few weeks afterwards, he was playing. There was this, there's a pro player, or there was a pro player on Fortnite from Canada. The dude used to stream, and he used to pull like 200 viewers. Drake just hopped on the stream and played with him. Never tweeted out, no nothing. And if you never knew, it, it just happened. But for him, I think that's Drake, like edgy, keeping his like boots on the ground, kind of know what's going on, tapping edgy. in with people. Unfortunately, there's so many narratives that they're trying to run against you that even if you're not complicit or you weren't around when none of the weird shit's happening, they're gonna be like, oh, you you, you went on her stream and she's a creep. Uh, I'm sorry, like I'm not gonna say Drake is guilty of anything. I would just say some of the edgy shit he might just have to chill out with though, right? Like, edgy. hey, if 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 you're gonna pop on the stream of the woman who's been doing this a lot, and even if you know or have an inkling that she's doing it, don't do it, right? So it's just some of the edgy shit that I think he's trying to do. But edgy. is this any proof that Drake is a fucking creep or Drake yes. is a predator? Fuck no. Is it like yes, I know. Yes, <laughs> this is why people are thinking he a fucking creep. Yes, this is the reason why. Yes. If you work with PDFs at all, you need if, Adobe Acrobat. Tripping? Like, you I'm can down edit, share, sign PDFs, and more. The whole PDF said, kit and kaboom. Yeah, yeah, that's way. kind of what the biggest rappers do. They they try to find cool ways. It's the reason why she he goes to do a interview laying on a bed with with Bobby Altoff instead of doing a hip hop interview. He wants to seem like that's bro. The majority of these other rappers you're talking about, they just don't do interviews. Drake wants to do an interview, but he's not going to do an interview in a regular way. That looks corny. That looks beneath everybody who's on his level. So he goes to do a jokey joke interview with Bobby Altoff, which is like almost a, a satirical interview. Satirical, miracle, edgy, wedgy. Listen, man, listen, I don't care nothing about legal age. That's fine. That's cool. But if you want a certain image, if you want a certain image, cool. 
Nobody said that it ain't illegal. Nobody's saying that it's legal. Nobody's saying nothing. But he always seems to find himself. Well, why can't you do this with? I bet you there's a lot of freaky adults out there that he can do this with. Did you see Jay-Z laying on a couch with, with anybody just laying, sipping daiquiris and margaritas? So if, the, if this is the image that you want, well, people going to have their opinions about your image that you are openly putting on the Internet. So, yeah, when there's a smoke, there's fire. So people are like, bro, why do he keep doing this? So I ain't saying nothing about nothing. I'm just saying all this stuff that he is in his right of doing. Appreciate you with the five dollar donation. Look, he is in his right to do anything that he want to do. But I'm in my right to say things that make you go. Hmm. 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 Appreciate you, Skyless. Uh, AK is willing to ruin his career getting on his knees for Drake. It seems like it. Right? It seems like it. It, it, all right. OK. 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 Do, do y'all want to debate me about this? I'll get on Discord if y'all get on Discord and we can talk about it. Because I hate when y'all really think that I'm just like ducking or I'm, I'm just like fucking. Beyonce was 19 and she, that nigga freak too. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Denzel Washington. Look, listen, I'm not going to do it. All right. If it's legal, look, I ain't going to do it. I'm 36. I ain't talking to nobody 19. That ain't me. But guess what? I have my opinion. And if that's the case, nigga, Jay-Z, he a little 69 guy, too, in my opinion. I don't give a fuck who it is. Jay-Z, Malcolm X, goddamn Martin Luther. I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing it. Doing mental gymnastics. And, and I do understand that some of y'all just want to hear that de facto. Oh, my God, this is weird. Now, it'll be different. It's, it'll be different if Drake is like, oh, my, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, no, no, he's come on, on bro. I don't give a fuck if it's fair game or not. I'm not interested in no 19-year-old girl as a 36-year-old man. I'm not interested. I'm not putting. How do you meet this girl? Well, this is Beyonce, but wherever. Beyonce, she's the entertainment world. But how does it, it, it exclude who they are where is a 37 year old man what environment are you in that's just crazy where did you meet this person what club were you at what what what, what do, how do y'all intermingle and what do y'all talk about i'm not interested in no 19 year old girl as a as a 36 year old man i'm just not he shit should be doing like let's do it no that's not what he that's not what he did that's not what he did at all is that what he did like it, i thought i was gonna hear drake say nah nah let's add some people to this and i thought drake was gonna be like yo yo yo, yo have her take the top off. like no that's not happening so because he popped on this chick stream it's like yo he's the weirdo yes. we're not even getting at the girl yes everybody getting at the girl too the girl's a weirdo and just how everybody else said that the girl is weirdo i'm saying drake is a weirdo drake is a weirdo because he knows that the spotlight is being on him. Yes, the girl, she's a 69 guy, and Drake is guilty. Guilty by association. Why would you even put yourself in that position? Guilty by association. You guilty of being a weirdo, in my opinion. And that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Guilty. Yes. Oh, did the Frank say something? Frank said, Frank said, her entire content is this. She don't game or anything else. Why was Drake watching someone make minors do weird stuff and buying her setup? Clearly, he says he knows her from Toronto. But so, but, so you're saying that's all she does. Okay, let me just look on this monitor. She has a kick page. I'm going to look on her kick page. Kick. Clearly, he said, why did it get so freaky? So he knows that it get freakies over there.